Hello, thank you so much for joining us. This is Truth TV's program, The Conrado Show. On this show, we explore issues of purpose, passion, and power. God has given everybody that he created a purpose to fulfill on this earth. He has also given you the power to do whatever it is that he has given you as a purpose for you to be able to live this life and impact on it, to have dominion and rule over it. And then also you yourself need to energize yourself, get that passion in whatever it is that you are doing. And today we are talking to a young person who has been demonstrating this in his sphere of influence. This show is brought to you in association with Heritage Christian University College. We are in Amasaman here in Accra. This is the university to choose when you want to have very quality, world-class education that is imbued with entrepreneurship training. We train our, our students to learn how to develop their own business concepts and to turn them into successful businesses with direction and guidance from university authorities. Then we are also a university that trains you to have conviction, character, creativity, compassion, and to live in a community. And we are doing admissions for March, April, and then also October. We admit students and January as well. You can go to our website, www.hcuc.edu.gh. You can call us on 020 67 30 38 2. This show is also brought to you in association with the Conrado Group. The Conrado Group is interested in personal development matters. If you want us to guide you on your personal journey, personal walk, your personal mission statement, and things that are going to help you to develop your, your being and help you in your personal growth, we are the ones to talk to. We are also interested in helping you to get exams that you have to write in order for you to school abroad or work abroad such as the IELTS, the International English Language Testing System, and then also TOEFL, Test of English as a Foreign Language, SAT, Scholastic Aptitude Test, the GRE, the Graduate Record Exam, and then the GMAT, Graduate Management Admissions Test. These exams are our specialties. We help you to be able to learn them, pass them, go for your master's or undergraduate or PhD abroad. We take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> Drift as you transition into a new stage of your life. The future seems like a blank space until you discover the passion within. The canvas of the future is yours to paint. Welcome to a world of opportunities. Heritage Christian College, offering world class university education, training compassionate entrepreneurial leaders.
Thank you so much for joining us again. This is the Conrado Show where we are exploring issues of purpose, passion, and power. Today we are talking to a young man. He is in the person of Echo Francis Ando. He's a youth activist and in fact he is gunning to be Ghana's youth president. Yes, you heard me right. Ghana's youth president. He's going to tell us more about that. And so... Welcome to the studios of Truth TV. Thank you, Conrad. Yeah, it's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So now let's know a bit about you. Who is Echo Francis Ando? Very well, Conrad. Francis Echo Ando mm -hmm. is a leader, a Pan-Africanist, a social activist. Mm -hmm. I began my journey at the African University College of Communications as the General Secretary of the SRC. Mm -hmm. um, before then, SHS, where did you go? Before SHS? Yeah, senior, I mean, senior high school, where did you Yes, school? I attended Abisadel College. Okay, what did you yes. study? I studied journal arts. Okay, interesting. And so continue, yeah, university education. Yes, so I started as a General Secretary of our SRC mm -hmm. and um, I continued my service at the Ghana Tourism Authority. Okay. And where I led a team or mm. uh, um, a coalition of which we called the Coalition of Suffering National Service Personnel. Hey. So <laughs> you know as 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 it were, as it is, yeah. national service personnel always are uh, every year um have complaints mm -hmm. about their delay in allowance. Yeah. yeah the timely payment of the allowance yeah. and also the increment of our allowance. Hmm. It has remained five, five, nine. I tell you, my brother, <laughs> Conrad, um, in my time, that's the 2020, 2020, yeah. 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, Alawa in quotes <laughs> as allowance. Yes. So I'll I'll receive messages yeah. asking. But I am not at the National Service Secretary. Yeah. <laughs> so so much of these messages yeah. puts me, gives me pressure, puts yeah. pressure on me that hey, what is it? <laughs> am I not also a service person? <laughs> no. Yes. So that's mm -hmm. that's put or that's forced the pressure on yeah. me yeah. as well as like-minded service personnel like okay. time. To, to have a coalition, have a group, okay. yes, yeah. called the suffering service personnel. <laughs> so, Not concerned. Yes, there is always the groups are concerned something. This one is the suffering yes. national service so, personnel. So on June eighth, twenty twenty one, yeah, we hit the streets of Accra <laughs> to be precise. The uh, <laughs> national uh, service. No, the, the Obra Sports. Who oh. take you? Okay. So we picketed. We demonstrated. Hey. It was a peaceful demonstration, by better, the way. Better. <laughs> I was happy about the demonstration because we had the response okay. from the executive director, that is Honorable Gifty Owari. Yeah. So after our demonstration, mm. it's done on her, mm. and then she came out, and I, I remember she made a statement on City FM mm. that um, she's heard all our cries, mm. but there's been a proposal. Okay, which is laid uh, before the education education committee of parliament yeah. to increase the service allowance from the five five nine, nine point zero four. Mm. Hey, you remember all of that? To one thousand. When was it? It was good news to us <laughs> because it, not happened. it happened. has not happened, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ghana we live in. <laughs> yeah, so you should know the country we are all living in. So fast forward. Yeah, we had this news. Yeah, you see, usually. Um, uh, responses getting responses out of demonstration yeah. is very necessary, so we're happy at least that okay, somebody uh, we, to our to cry you. Yeah. has been heard. Yeah. Okay, so we continued the journey, uh, tempest were calmed mm. down, and we had assurances that okay, so something has been done about yeah. it. So we were there. So our demonstration was, uh, we, we, we was mainly about three things one. Okay. The timely payment of the allowance. Yeah. Because usually yeah. it's just overboard. <laughs> then the service personnel is there. How are we going to transport yeah. to service? So yeah. one, the timely payment of it. Two, 
payment of arrears. Mm. And then three, the increment. So the increments I leave it. But for all you know, yeah. service personnel, mm. eh, once you start service, we expect that you give us our allowance at the end of the month. Okay. But others will receive, others then, will not. Yeah. Where lies the problem? Yeah. And no community yeah. from the national secretariat signaling that. So at least we did some work there and then as and now, as I talk to you, yeah. I'm out of service. But, but that hasn't been increased. Oh. Let's move no, away no, from but, that. But have you had some feedback as to if they've done something about the timely payment, the prompt payment, and then... <laughs> My brother, <laughs> it's been the same old story. Oh. Now that I'm out of service, yeah. I don't know how well, it's yeah. scary, yeah. but I'm sure it will be the same. Oh. Uh-huh. So, um, fast forward, yeah. I'm out of service and I don't want to be the communications officer for Young Visionary Leaders Ghana. Mm a Ghanaian representative for African Voices International. Okay. Then um, a member of the Sustainable um, African Youth for Sustainable Development. Okay. Okay. As well as several okay. organizations. Yeah. We'll, that we'll talk you. about some of those. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, so this is yeah. me in a nutshell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this nutshell yes. is really big. <laughs> the national service took much of it. Yes. Yeah, I can see how passionate you are about you know, the fact that Things must be done well for the service Very personnel. Well. Good. Very well. What did you study at AUCC? Well, I studied public relations, PR. Hey, that's so why you're here doing PR for <laughs> <laughs> your, your service personnel uh, colleagues. Uh, Interesting. So we'll talk about that a little bit okay. now. But um, let's talk about student volunteerism in general. Um, you've 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 served in different capacities, you know, as a student leader, and then all these. Uh, social activism and all, what what inspires you to be a volunteer or an active social activist? Thank you so much for the question, Connor. The passion, mm -hmm. the zeal, mm -hmm. the affection that I have for the Ghanaian youth mm -hmm. and the ordinary Ghanaian drives me each day to put on my best to advocate for all of us, I'm a youth. And I have over time got to realize how governance works. And for that matter, the ordinary Ghanaian mm. do not know what government is all about. Mm. So my zeal and my passion to advocate for the ordinary Ghanaian and the youth is what drives me crazy mm. to what I do each day. Okay, I see. Yeah, but but we have, I mean, everybody else will say something similar that it's it's passion that is making me to get into this or to do that. But at the end of the day, has it has it gotten you some some results as a social activist? And you also say you are a pan Africanist. I'll I'll, I'll get into that later. But as a social activist. What results have you achieved from, right from school and, and out of school? Results. You've told uh, us about the National Service one, so maybe yes. you can leave that out. Any other advocacy things that you've done that have been impactful? Very well. Mm -hmm. So um, I have, um, I'm the youth MP, currently the youth MP for Chobu constituency. Oh, this constituency yes. actually. That's under uh, the yeah. auspices of Youth Leadership Parliament. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I remember before my my um, my yeah. election, yeah, or to bid for that position, I went round the constituency, um, cited some problems yeah. that the constituents are facing, such as water, mm -hmm. such as um, um, financial difficulties. So, in my own way. I have highlighted some problems. That is, you see, um, when you look at the um, Pokwase Festos, where the um, construction, oh. no, there is a pathway that when when it rings heavy, the oh. place gets flooded. Yes, yeah. so that the water gets into people's yeah, homes. homes. Yeah. I captured that. Okay. Sent it to our MP, Honorable Moses Amy. Yeah. Okay. So 
I didn't get response right there. Yeah. But I later heard yeah. that he went to their rescue yeah. and something has been done about, about it. Yeah. Okay. So this is something that I find happy about. Okay. As a youth activist mm. and also as a youth MP for the constituency, yeah. that I am only a the youth MP. All right, so I'd like to ask you, since you say you want to be Ghana's next youth president, if you get that note, what are you going to do for the youth of Ghana? Very well. Mm. Number one, I would want to establish a cycle hub. Mm. So it's basically a psychological hub mm. where the youth can come in, run in for any support, being it financial, being it um, um, advice, men yeah, mental, uh, mental issues, issues, issues mental health. Issues. Yeah. Yes. And then number two. Hold on. I mean, why are you doing this? Is it because you feel that young people have mental problems or what? A lot of us, mm. um, due to the rate of unemployment, okay, uh, the youth are battling with mm. all sorts of um, uh, uh, mental illness. Okay, so depression that setup, is one. Depression big, yeah. is one. So that setup will enable um, youth to fall in freely okay. yeah. to express themselves and, and then to be help. given the yeah. needed help okay. that they need. Great. Yeah, so with that, we don't need that uh, million dollar <laughs> to start that. Yeah, that's our own small way. Yeah, you can. We can do that. Do that. that is one. Okay, two, good. The entrepreneurship sports. I see. So that will be um, also um, a hub or a center, sort yeah. of, not only for my constituents, yeah. but for uh, youth in general yeah. to come in, pitch their ideas, and then we will. And um, filter, mm -hmm. and then just uh, judge and see whether judge, they, they yes. They but make we sense. wouldn't leave anybody out. I see. But uh, the, the the difference will only be about the amount and then the viability of the business. Exactly. Okay. So everybody will get support under that entrepreneurship sport, and then also the psycho hub. Mm. These are the two major to start with. I see. And then we build on. Mm. on Interesting. This. So how are you going to do the entrepreneurship bit of it? Entrepreneurship, Where are you yes. Get money? I cannot do this all by myself. Yeah. So with the help of my um, connections mm. that I have by God's grace, mm -hmm. I will um, propose to donate, put some funds, yeah. maybe being it monthly okay. or even yearly or as and when, and someone is led. Yeah. Because our existence as human is to live for people. Yeah, and but, not, but, but in Ghana we have the is it Youth Enterprise Agency the YEA? Uh, why why don't you just channel it through them since they already very do well. that? It's not so publicity. You know it, but the ordinary you you do not know there is. So I'm using this opportunity to okay. um, announce to the youth watching me that if you ever need any support, mm. even before I even establish mine, okay. you can visit the YEA -E -E. yeah. at any any your municipal assembly. assembly yeah. Okay, every every district you are visit your assembly, and then uh, see you are looking for the YEA -E mm. office. Get there. Lodge your lodge your, your problem mm. and you'll be helped. Yeah. So yeah. you can do that until I come in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, until I come in. Yeah. So until we come in, our presidency, you know, uh, you can go and then get that support for now. Thank you so much for, for those ideas. You see, mm. even in tertiary politics, yeah. student politics, the political infiltration yeah. is very high. Or uh, 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 it's high. So usually once a particular camp figures that you are not with them, you are showing a different color. Yeah. They don't get close to you yeah. because they think when they get close to you, you will, you will, you will, um, you will reveal their, their secrets. Their secrets. Yeah, of course. What do you mean? <laughs> I was there myself, <laughs> and, and 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 amongst uh, about eight um, Tescon groups, mm -hmm. I was able to work with them. When the NPP people yeah. are going for a meeting, I am there because I'm in power. I'm in office. I, I, I would have chose to say that 
See, they are not mine, so I wouldn't. I yeah. everywhere they go, like I'm an NPP person. Okay, so that, that was as a as as a general secretary for the AUCC House. Okay, at yeah. the time. Okay, I see. So the patriotism I exhibited mm. just for the interest of your university, the, the students, and not yeah. for me. Yeah. This is this this is the kind of man, uh, mindset and set mind mm. that you would have to uh, exhibit. Side to. Yeah. Okay. And not uh, before we get the power, mm -hmm. we say all the nice, nice things, and then once we hold power, yeah. we do otherwise. I see. This wouldn't go any long, mm -hmm. any way to help Ghana. Yeah. If you love Ghana, you will have to uh, practice what you preach. Yeah, yeah. Do as you say. Yeah. Be a man of your words, as I am. And so I can boldly hey. say today that hey. those days I practice that, <laughs> yeah. and I'll continue to do to that. Do that. I love your your principles and <laughs> yeah and I I understand why you are so passionate about uh, the youth and then uh, Ghana's democracy and the the voice of the young people. Finally, you you say you are also a Pan Africanist. What exactly do you mean by that? Very well. Mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm. a Pan Africanist because mm -hmm. I am the Ghanaian representative for African Voices International. But tell us about that organization. So African Voices International is a social youth organization, okay. formerly known as Youth in Action. Oh, okay. In 2013. Yeah. Before um, uh, the name was changed yeah. to African Voices International. I so see. it's been a name for, yeah, for some time. Yes, yeah. for some time. Okay. Yes. And then we have representatives from various african countries mm. do you By miss day? and how do you meet yes virtually so, virtually we okay. do and then occasionally mm. we do travel so, yeah. but usually i'm a Ghanaian representative so yeah. when I, I hardly travel mm. but by uh, my fellow africans yeah, okay. some come and come. then okay. the last two uh, programs i was a panelist as it was there um ghana registered nurses meet with me and association as Okay. That was last year, um, um, June 4th, yeah. 2022. Uh -huh. I was a panelist at the, um, that place. So it was an African, it was a program organized by African Voices International. I see. To, what was the aim of that program? Yes, it was, it was about injustices. The theme was injustices revealed. I okay. see. Amongst other, usually we do virtual more. Yeah. Okay. Where we have a fellow um africans around mm. share ideas what is happening at a particular country okay uh, so as ghana i tell what is happening here okay. to them they also from different countries yeah. so that sense of patriotism mm. the pan-africanism yeah is there I, I see and so hence uh pan african okay so so that's the angle from which you're coming i thought you were some incrumized you know. Yes, <laughs> he is our strong group. Besides, um, this year we, 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 we call it the year of transformation. So, if okay. you have seen our flyer, mm. we have the picture of Kwame Informa. Oh, I see. Saji Kwame Informa as our strong. You ah, see how his patriotism. Yeah. The, yes, mm. that is how. So, people see us and they say they are fighters. <laughs> so, amongst us, we yeah. call ourselves freedom giants. Hey, okay. You are different from freedom fighters. Yes, I see. We call ourselves freedom giants because we fight, we stand tall. Mm. You see, I see. There, to there, there are a lot. Yeah, freedom and a democracy. Lot, a, a lot happening in, in, in the spaces, and that we as African voices, we are not mere an organization or full of vibrant youth that mm. are just sleeping. Mm. We always rise up to the occasion. We I stand see. tall regardless. I see. We run like the lion. Hey. Yes, That's the me. future <laughs> is for the, we the Ghanaians. <laughs> and so if we, must, if we don't stand tall, yeah. where are we going as Ghanaians? I see. We are the hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. And okay, so final, final, final. Um, talk about the, the, what young people can, I mean, young people like you, you're how old? 20, what? You're in your 20s? Yes. Yeah. And... What what can young people who want to be like you, want to be part of youth parliament, youth, you know, presidency and all these international voices and all of that activism, 
what, what can they do? Where should they start from? Very well. Mm -hmm. All of this begins from leadership. Mm -hmm. Leadership is simply leading your followership. Hence, mm -hmm. leadership. If you are a leader, you lead your followers. So that edge, that 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 sense of responsibility, mm. okay, the youth must have before you can be a leader. So if anyone out there listening to me, watching me, who wants to uh, um, 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 run the race at which I am running or the pace at which I am running, mm. you must have that sense of responsibility. Okay. Yeah. It's so whatever you find whatever yourself, that yeah. sense of you don't need to be in a particular place no. or be responsible or organization, yeah. and that sets the tone for okay. greater things. I see. So responsibility first. Yeah. Okay. Well, I thought you wanted to continue. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but to you, responsibility. You should just be responsible, responsible, and and you can speak out when there is an issue that you need to speak about. Yes. And then we must stand tall in yeah. all this. Yeah, I see. Yes. And so. Well, what I like about this conversation is the fact that there is a lot that young people have within them that they want to do, that they want to explore. There are things that you are preparing for in the future, but many people do not know how to start that. And uh, Francis Echo and Ando is letting us know that you can start from your own sphere of influence, your own space, wherever you find yourself, whatever it is you are doing, you can start that that sense of grooming, leadership, you know, training and activism and raise your voice when there is need to. Let your voice count, but do it in a very responsible and a very diplomatic manner and, and very respectful. Do not do not get into vandalism and, and all the other things that are associated with some of these protests. Make sure that you do it in a, a way that is civilized and people are going to take you very seriously so young people you can become political actors you can become politicians you can become leadership you know um uh, influencers you can become a lot of activists you know that you, you you may think about but you must begin from wherever you find yourself and raise your voice when it needs to be raised on issues that need to be spoken about. Martin Luther King Jr. said something that I love so much. He says, in the end, we will not, uh, uh, I mean, in the end, um, we will not remember the words yes. of our friends. That's how you mean it. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so that, and the, the silence of our enemies. And so there is one on Maya Angelou that made, uh, that was about how you made them feel. But this one, he's talking about the fact that in the end, you will not remember just the words of your friends, but the silence of your enemies. You know, um, uh, the aspect of trying as much as possible to do certain things that if you believe that we need to talk about this thing and you're silent and you don't uh, act about it, you don't talk about it and because you don't want to talk, I mean, about anything that is, is negative, you know, that is that is going on wrongly and you don't want to offer any constructive criticism, then we will all sing together because the ship that is setting on the sail and is turbulent, the, the, the sea is turbulent, the, the situations are difficult, but you need to speak out where you find yourself. And that way you can become somebody of significance in the society. Many of these great people that we talk about are people who just didn't want to sleep and 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 just keep quiet about everything but they did something about their situation they said something they did something and as a result of that we recognize them today as very influential in their sphere in their generation you too can be influential in your generation and that's what we have been speaking about we've been talking to francis echo ando he is He's a youth activist, a social activist. He's a Pan-Africanist, and he says uh, we should help him to become Ghana's next youth president. How do people vote when when 
when you have to vote for you? Uh, yes, um, the, the follow up will yeah. come later. Okay. So, oh, for and now. I'll, I'll be in again the details. To announce okay. Okay. The details. Great, 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 great. Your your party will will pay us a lot of money to do the campaign <laughs> on that day. Yeah, yeah. So he's an incumbent. Um, he's an independent. You say independent, independent candidate and wanting to be Ghana's next youth president. And so let's let's support him. Thank you very much, Francis, for being a part of today's program. Thank you for having me. It's my brother Conrad. Yeah. So this has been the Conrado Show, where we discuss issues of purpose, passion and power. We know that God has given everybody a purpose on this earth. You should discover yours. Somebody has discovered his. I have discovered mine. You two need to know what it is you are on earth for. If you need help in that regard, we can help you at the Conrado Group where we support personal development and these kind of mentorships. And then also we train people to get language skills and other uh, exams that can be used for applications abroad for masters or for undergraduate and uh, PhD and other um, exams like that. And so you can contact us 020-67-3032 and Heritage Christian University College, Amasaman Accra, right here, where Truth TV is, is also admitting students. You can come to us for courses, you know, in business administration and IT and theology. We will be back again same time next week with another edition of the Conrado Show. My name is Conrad Kakraba. Bye for now.